Hello and welcome to my channel, The Danish Readaholic. Today, I am talking about some characters that I would love to have their own series or a spin-off or something along those lines. And also today I'm looking like an absolute mess. I couldn't care less about makeup or doing my hair properly. I curled it yesterday, which is why it's like this. Um, and I kind of like it, so chill vibes today. But I feel like it fits the video because I'm just gonna sit down and chat with you about some characters that I thought deserve their own series. So I have a bunch of people that I would just love to know more about, but I am trying to base it on series that are like completely ended, like no more to that world as far as I know. Um, and I am doing both TV and books for some reason because I thought it would be fun. So I'll try and switch between the ones. A few of them I, I think I have a lot to say about and then there are some where I don't really have that much. It's just I want to know more. Without further ado, let's just get into it. And I'm going to start off with the TV. I love Rain. Rain is like one of my favorite TV shows. So I actually have two characters from Rain. I saw someone else do similar to this and they mentioned Bash from Rain, um, but I never really was a fan of him and he had a storyline. All of the, like both of the characters that I'm mentioning, they had a storyline as well. But I feel like Bash's storyline, whenever Bash came on, I was just like, ugh, can we just not? <laughs> I, I did, I liked Bash, of course I did, but he was never my favorite and I didn't really care. Apart from when he was with my first choice, Kenna. Kenna went through hell. And I don't remember, it's been a while since I've seen it, I don't remember the reason that she's not there anymore. I think she got pregnant or something. But she kind of was written out of the show and, and I don't know why, but I would have loved to seen what happened to Kenna after she left French court. I would have loved to seen if something with Kenna and Bash were to happen afterwards. And I don't know. I would just have loved to seen more of Kenna because she was one of my absolute favorite characters. And I just, her and Gria, I feel like they deserved more. Obviously, Lola deserved more as well. She did not deserve to go down like that. There's a reason that I can't really ask more for Lola. I'm sorry if this is spoilery, but um, Lola is beheaded. Um, so that is why I can't really, I don't want more of a storyline there because I, I can't get it. Actually with Kenna and also Greer a little bit, I would love to see what they were doing. I know we get like these small storylines and I guess it's kind of easier to do in TV shows than in his movies, but we get these small storylines, but I would just love to see more. Greer is not my second character, but we'll get back to that because now I'm gonna switch to the books. So I kind of want to talk about these three ladies together because um, they're from the same series and I don't really have that much to say about them. Um, and it's also just in general, with a bunch of the people on the prison island from Grace and Fury. Especially Cliff, Petrol, and Oracle. I would love to hear their backstory, especially, I think it was Cliff and Oracle that I had as my favorites. I would love to know how they became who they are when we meet them and how long they've been on the prison island and what they've endured. And I know Cliff, her name, uh, cliff is because she was debating jumping off a cliff or maybe she did jump off a cliff and survived I don't remember specifically, but there was something about a cliff and wanting to jump off it And I would love to just hear her story like before she got caught and how she handled um, Being on the island and what happened to make her stay and fight I feel like there's a lot of characters in Grace and Fury that you can dive deeper into and it's a shame really um, that we didn't get more uh, in that world. And I would also, just a side note, I would also love to see maybe like five years after Grace and Fury what happened there. I don't know, it kind of, it leaves it off in a like we're trying to save the world, but we don't really know if it'll work or we're trying to change the world, but we don't really know if it'll work. 
Um, and I would love to see if it worked. <laughs> I would just really, really love to see how things changed. Let's move on back to Rain uh, and let me talk about Catherine de Medici. She was my all time, I mean, okay. <laughs> I also said that about Kenna, but Catherine was my all-time favorite character, even when she was an absolute asshole to everybody. I loved her, so Catherine was my favorite, and then Kenna, and then Mary. Um, Catherine. I would love to see her story. Follow her from when she was the age of Mary, for example, or younger, and then see how she became this person who dabbles with poison and who is feared by everyone and how she came to accept i think it was diane her name was and her relationship with henry and the the thing with um with was it twins she had yeah the thing with the twins that were killed um how she handled that and everything. I want to know everything and I think she is a really interesting character and you could get a lot out of that. I don't know. And I think I'm actually just gonna continue with the TV one because I also have another Catherine on the list and that is from Vampire Diaries. Now, I know that we get a lot of the backstory on Catherine and I know that there's a lot of flashbacks in Vampire Diaries and we actually follow Catherine quite a lot, but I would love to see that like all the way back like from when she turned and when her family was killed and when she was running from klaus and why she was running from klaus um all of that way 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 back i would love to see that and then follow her gradually it could be something about each season was a new decade or a new year and then we would follow her again and all of the people that she met and how she became this demonic person and what she was doing um in the years that the salvatore brothers thought she was in the tomb but she wasn't like where was she what was she doing and that is just like a storyline that I thought would have been interesting to follow and I don't know. I think Catherine is really interesting and I think you we could... I would have loved to see uh, more of her and what they would have done with the story. Now I think I'm gonna switch to the books. <laughs> this one is just like a brief mention uh, because I don't really remember that much about what we're actually told. Um, but Parvane from Girl, Serpent, Thorn. When we meet her, she's sort of been shunned by her clan i don't remember what it's called but she is not welcome in her clan and i would have loved to seen her clan like how that worked like how they were <laughs> and what she did to be exiled i would love to see her story maybe even like the same timeline but from her perspective because she was just a character that I thought was really interesting. So I would have loved to see what she thought when Soroya visited her at the prison or when she got um, caught and all of those things. I would have loved to see, to see her point of view. Um, the next one, I am basing it off the movies because I still haven't read the books. I think all the same, <laughs> I really want this. Effie and Hamish. From Hunger Games. For some reason they have all ooh, also Cinna, but not as important, but so those three, Hamish, um, Effie and Cinna, have always been my favorite characters when it comes to the Hunger Games. Again, granted, I'm talking about the movies now because I haven't read the books, so maybe uh, when I read the books I'll have a completely different view, but so please keep in mind that I'm talking about the movies. Thank you. <laughs> So those three characters have always been my favorites and especially with Hamish, I would have loved to see his year, maybe, when he was in the games. What happened? I know that they're not as significant as Katniss and Peeta because um, when they won, they kind of started the revolution um, and I know that that didn't happen when Hamish won, but I would still love to see how he became who he is now. And the same with maybe Finnick, I would have loved to see when he won and maybe some of the other victors that we follow and that we like. Um, I would have loved to see if there could have been like a separate series where each of the books follow one of the victors 
I would, I would, yes. <laughs> yes. I would just love that. Really, really love that. I would also love to see like Joanna and all of the other ones that are actually in the sequel. I'm just, I would, I would love that. And with Effie, I just love her. She, there's something about the way that in the beginning she's like, oh yes, um, the Hunger Games are the shit, they're the best. And then as soon as she gets like this bond with Katniss and Peeta, it kind of actually hurts her that she has to send them into the games and that she has to send them into the games again. And there's just something about her that I really enjoy and I wish that she had her own book. I don't need a series from that, I just need a book. Okay, <laughs> bear with me. Maybe a book um, starting at like the, um, oh, what's it called? The, I kind of want to say the selection ceremony, but where um, Primrose is picked and Katniss volunteers. From that moment, that should be the first chapter. We all know the story and then follow her and her thought process in the entire thing. So maybe think about, oh, she was so brave uh, for volunteering or that was a heartfelt moment, blah, 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 something along those lines. And then follow her story through all four, there's only three books, but all four movies, three books. And then just put that in one book and maybe follow her thought process. I don't know why, but I would really, really love that. Okay, so I was talking about the movies, but still, there was book things in there. So I'm not really doing the switch around because now I want to talk about some characters from one of my favorite series, and that is The Hundred. I think people would be expecting me to say that I need a Bellamy story, and I haven't seen the seventh season, so I know shit happens, but please don't spoil me more than I have spoiled myself. But I am not gonna pick Bellamy for this because he is not the character that I feel, obviously he deserved more, but he's not the character that I feel I need to know more about because we do explore his backstory, his and Octavia's, and we also explore Clark's backstory. But Indra, that's all I have to say. Indra, I need to know how she became this fierce fierce warrior and I just need to know. I love Indra, I have always loved her even when she was a bitch, but yes. Um, additional mentions that I would love to see more from, Rowan, Lincoln, um, and Lexa. Their backstories, I want to know more about the characters that were already on Earth. Now, I know that with this <laughs> series, we follow the, the hundred, obviously, that were from space. So it would have been strange to create a completely different storyline following the people that were already on Earth, but damn, do I want it. And even just as books, because you know, the hundred is also a book series. I don't know how, or I do know that it's not completely accurate, but I don't know, I kind of want something more about Indra. Indra has always been a really complex character to me and there's always been so many layers. Um, and when she bonds with Octavia, kind of sees her as a daughter. Ah, oh, that bond. And, I, and also I think her daughter, her actual daughter is Gaia. I kind of want to more, know more about her as well. But I think with having a story on Indra, we also get to know Gaia, so. So that was actually all of the TV shows, and I'm just gonna finish off with um, the books. And that will actually be quite easy, because I have two books left, um, three spots, I guess. And the first one is Queen Red Riding Hood from Land of Stories. I know she has her own little novel, um, short story. I don't know, really know what it is. But it's like yay thick, and I need more. I need to know how she built her kingdom. I need to know her thought process during all of this because in the in the first book I hated her and in the last book I loved her and I, I need more. That's all I have to say. The next point, I just wrote the villains again from Land of Stories. It would have been or it would be amazing to me to have similar um, series but then we follow in each of them the villain backstory. So maybe the villain side of the story from like each of the books, like 
land of stories we follow oh damn it's been a while since i've read them we follow the evil queen i don't remember her actual name but we follow the evil queen having a new series with the villains being the focus we could take the evil queen give her the backstory that i think she deserves and then follow her perspective and do the same with the next one where it's maleficent just a villain backstory from these villains like i know that they're based on actual villains from actual classic fairy tales but i need a backstory for these villains so the last one is um, i wrote the goddesses because i do not remember their names for the life of me but um the goddesses from the never silting world so when i say that i don't mean odessa and haiti i mean their mothers I haven't read the second book, so I don't really have the explanation because they can't really both be their mother mothers because they're twins. Confusing. But the goddesses that are already there, because one of them was the cause of the breaking, and I would love to see why that happened, and I want to know. I want to know. But I don't really have a bigger point to that because I, I can't remember um, what their names is, and I haven't read the, the second book. But I would love to see a story similar, but from when they were the age of Odessa and Haiti. So I could probably keep adding characters to this. I mean, I haven't even even touched upon uh, Bone Cry's Moon or, you know, all of those other series that I love. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment telling me which character you thought deserved a series of their own. I would love to know. I would really love to know because this is like something that I find so fun to like sit and think about like who deserve more? Who do I want to know more about? And if you like this video please hit the like icon and if you want to see more of my bookish content please hit subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And until I see you next time, bye!